delete some of this stuff. And you still want to keep that just in case you have another computer. All right. Um, Prelude may need a restart, but I'll go ahead and see if uh, transcode if that's popped up. So it hasn't. So what I might have to do, you know, go to cancel, double click. Let's see if uh, transfer clips to destination. Make sure that we go to the right place to download all this footage. And let's see if the transcode. It's not up, so what we will definitely have to do is uh, quit Prelude. And probably should have done this first, but just in case, um, we can open up a recent. We can open up this recent package that we've been working on here, or this recent project. All right, so here we are in just a one. Now we double click, go to no name, private, check all, transfer. Gotta make sure, right, folder, keep everything together. Um, well, perhaps this is just for, well, I really wanted to able to transcode that well uh, we'll we'll look in a minute maybe um, we have to we'll have to do something a little bit different later down the line I'm new to prelude I've used it a couple of times I haven't used the ProRes so um, apparently this is just for the audio this is fine this is fine um, it's gonna add a subfolder with the date here and I'm just gonna click on ingest and so what it's going to start doing is bringing in each one of those files. Now there was an option in there that would allow you to um, stitch them together. Where is it at? Like if you do the transcode, you can stitch the clips together not something that I would suggest doing here um, I just wanted to show you that um, I found, figured, figured out what the ProRes problem was in previous versions before um, Creative Cloud if I installed the ProRes mm -hmm. like I showed you previously mm -hmm. it would work just fine but now um, you have to do go a little bit extra on that page that I showed you earlier from the guy with the great tutorial he does have a link for the additional ProRes presets you have to download those um, and you can it's a zip file and you can see them here unzip them okay you have to open up Adobe Media Encoder and then what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to import presets from right here. You click on it, you can just hold, select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one, and then you can open those and it will completely import all those presets. So now when we double click and we go to ingest, um, and this is really important that we have the, app, the Apple ProRes preset um, because we want we want our video to be as high quality as possible. We want it to be really good stuff. Um, I'm gonna uncheck that subfolder. Adds way too many subfolders there. Well, nah, I'll keep it like that. But we do want to transcode, and what we do, we'll go down to QuickTime, and then we get all these Apple ProRes presets. Uh, what we want is we're looking for. Well, there's so many. We want the HD version down here, not the AT, uh, LT. Uh, we want 1080p. And you're not going to get a true 24 um, frames a second, but you can do the Apple ProRes 422 HD 1080p. We want progressive at 23976, which rounds up to be right at 24 frames a second that's what we want there um, we don't want to stitch together clips so we want that quick time and the Apple ProRes and it's really important 
that you have that because what it's going to do is you're going to get a really high quality file that you can edit with. Just remember, Adobe Media Encoder, and you got to pop in these presets first. Very, very, very important that you get these right. So I'll just, I can quit the Media Encoder now. Um, you can do, you know, add metadata uh, and things like that, but this should be good enough for us for our purposes right now, and it should, of course, uh, go to the footage folder um, and transcode QuickTime Apple ProRes. And so, click in Gist. Um, this is probably going to take you a while, uh, so just you're going to have to give it, you know, you're going to have to give it a while for. All the video to come through down here you can see the ingesting bar and we're at zero percent so it does take a little while uh, you might also drag that AVC HD file from your card to the desktop but that sort of defeats the purpose of the whole um, ingesting part and transcoding so that's pretty much how to get it in the program and uh, in a minute I'll show you how uh, why the program is so valuable, why Prelude is so valuable. And you can see that, um, I just wanted to show you this, when you start to encode what it does, the uh, uh, Prelude actually codes, encodes through the media encoder, Adobe Media Encoder. So it pops up if it's behind, it might be behind your prelude, so you might not be able to see. But you can look at all the clips that are being ingested into the, the computer here. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's...